Did you really believe I was not going to review One Punch Man episode 4? This episode was crazy. Um, earlier I was kind of mad and I was like, I'm not reviewing this. I'm not reviewing nothing else today. But after watching this, I was smiling. A lot of scenes were funny. All right, so let's get this started. So Saitama and Geno took the Hero Association test. It's is a written part and a physical part where Saitama just crushed the physical part. It was like when Vegeta entered the martial arts tournament and hit that punching machine and just disintegrated that. That same thing happened in One Punch Man, which is crazy. So that was the only reason he passed because he only got a 71. So he got a perfect score on the physical test, Saitama, and a 21 on the exam and the written portion of the test and when he was taking out his test and he didn't take it out completely and he's like oh i got an s class too and they didn't even know what's an s rank s rank is the highest rank you could get i don't know i believe so and later on it showed that he was a c class hero Genos got an s class rank because of his accomplishment of taking down on um, take destroying the facility of the human evolution people but he didn't defeat the main dudes. That was Saitama. But yeah. So they were saying that Saitama, he was going to surpass that other guy, that teacher dude that was A-rank class 38 that was giving them the introduction. He was mad at Saitama. Challenged Saitama with some Cobra move. And then he got knocked the hell out. So I was like, yeah, this dude, this dude did not know what was coming to him. Because he was scared that Saitama was going to take his rank. And Saitama was just thinking about it saying... Is this the type of hero I want to be, the hero that climbs through ranks and stuff, or just a hero without recognition? So hopefully he does choose to climb through the ranks because he really does not deserve to be C class. He got to be higher than that. And I'm really excited to see the other um, high rank heroes and how strong they are throughout the series because we actually um, got introduced to a new hero. I believe his name is My Mask. My Mask. He has blonde hair not blonde hair, blue hair, and towards the end of the episode, he basically introduced Janos to the community and stuff, the facility, and Janos responded by saying, that's just was a waste of time. So maybe we'll get to see a My Mask versus Janos in the future, a friendly battle or something. And in this episode, the epicness, it was like a Dragon Ball Z battle. I'm not lying. This was like a Dragon Ball Z battle. Janos versus Saitama as a practice battle. Geno said the conditions are you have to make me stop fighting basically and don't fool around. The first part of the fight, Saitama was just fooling around dodging all the attacks and then Geno was like attack me, take this seriously basically. And there were inst like instant transmission and moving so fast, making Sonic, remember that Sonic dude from last week's episode look like a piece of crap? And Saitama, almost punched Genos in the face and it the on the screen it just popped death like Genos was about to die right there if that blow connected to his head his head would have probably exploded Saitama stopped and then was like yeah that's enough we're hungry they went to some restaurant he ate some noodles for for money um it was five thousand yen if they beat the challenge and ten thousand yen they had to pay if they lost the challenge of course Genos beat it because he's a robot a cyborg not a robot and he could digest that super fast probably so that was the episode the fight between Genos and Saitama's beast that just shows you the power difference between Genos and Saitama and how ranking doesn't really mean anything because Saitama is on a whole nother level that's why Genos wanted to be Saitama's pupil he still wondering how Saitama attained his power but we all know how he attained it and it sounds like BS but Oh well. Um, after the fight between that friendly fight, we actually got to see Geno saying, "I want to get stronger, but yeah, I don't think I could get that strong as as Saitama." Basically, he was trying to say, which which was crazy. And during the physical exam, Saitama he jumped and he got stuck on the wall. Like he jumped that high, and a lot of people that were about to take the exam, they're like, "F this, I'm out. I'm going home." After seeing Saitama's great feats. Um, I see a lot of great things coming in this anime. This anime is really funny. Um, I'm really enjoying every episode. And this episode was amazing. Like, it was so good. 
Um, my mask, I want to see some of his powers, what he could do, what, what techniques he does and stuff like that. And that Cobra dude, that snake guy was a real disappointment. Yeah, overall, I love this series. I really love One Punch Man. I love the manga. I read the manga before the series came out. And they have done, this studio has done a wonderful job animating this. It just looks so beautiful. <laughs> Their whole budget plan must have gone to this. And if this gets a dubbed I, and goes on to Nami, I think this will be a big hit in the States, in the United States. I don't know about all around the world, but in the States, it will be, I, I really feel it will be a big hit. So overall, this episode for me was just perfect. It was a perfect episode. I saw no flaws in it. The soundtrack, the ending where Saitama and Janos, they just walk on opposite ends. So Janos about to go home or do something else. And Saitama is just walking. Like, it, it was like a really serious moment when they walk in different directions. I'm like, what's going to what's gonna happen next week's episode? Is, is this just like a cool ending to the episode or what? Overall, I'll give this episode 10 out of 10. Like I said before, it was a perfect episode. I hope you enjoyed my review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.